we've just bought a table actually our first like proper furniture purchase Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a bit of uh, homeware furniture shopping today. And um, I thought I'd bring you along today and this week as we start to pick up some more things. We are just at Structube now. Uh, we're out in Richmond because we've come to pick up a dining room table. So we just bought it and we're just um, at the loading bay waiting for them to bring it out because I reserved it yesterday in the Granville store and I really really like Structube stuff but a lot of their stuff is out of stock or it takes a long while to come so I think it's easier just to like pick it up if you can and then you've got it and you're not waiting for the delivery and we want to try and make sure that we've got as much furniture as possible within the first couple of weeks of us moving in because yeah I don't really want an empty house for too long and uh, we just kind of want to get sorted as fast as possible so I reserved a dining table uh, from Structube and then we're also going to head to the Burnaby Structube after this to pick up a bench for the dining table so we've also bought a mirror for the dining table um, and we're gonna buy some chairs so that's actually kind of the dining room section done which is good and um, so we still got some big things to get still we still got to find a sofa we still got to get a bed which is proving actually quite difficult because um, the bed that we wanted isn't going to be in stock for months so we need to find uh, the bed um but yeah it's all kind of slowly starting to come together and we move in oh three weeks today we move three weeks today so it's gonna come by really fast but yeah it's good to make a bit of progress we're gonna have two big boxes probably just gonna have to stick it in the house because i just didn't want to wait and wait and not order it because like it can just take forever to come and then I've been buying a few other bits we obviously bought like our toaster and our kettle um I bought a nice mat yesterday um what else have I bought I think that's it and the mirror so yeah slowly starting to make some progress I'm just happy that we've like officially started buying our furniture because it makes it all feel a bit more real and it's very exciting but that looks so nice in the living room it's quite expensive like, 800 it's a lot for a rug it's really nice they have one in ikea that's very similar so maybe i'll do the ikea one because it's like half the price but that's lovely so this is the bed that we want it's the coastal from um truck tube uh so we're trying to see whether they have it in stock but the headboard's really cool kind of like beachy coastal vibe um and we also wanted this mirror as well but they don't have that in stock till like April. Um, but that mirror is actually really nice. Very annoying, a lot of things are out of stock. But we've just come to the structure in Richmond and the store is actually massive, way bigger than the downtown ones. Lots of nice things. To have a living room where you could fit a sofa <laughs> this size would just be amazing. This would literally take up our entire living room. <laughs> yeah. It is not a nice day today. That's some big raindrops. Just about fit in the car. We have to store this somewhere in our apartment, which um, is pretty big. <laughs> We are just having a walk down the beach. It's such a beautiful day. It's so crisp and cold. Northern mountains are snow capped and it's beautiful. Um, but this is literally like five minutes from our new place. So we have come down uh, just to meet with some decorators to get a quote. So we thought we'd come down a little early and um, just come for a stroll. And it's just so gorgeous. You can hear the ocean. It's just so nice. I'm not regretting our decision on bit of you. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just so nice to be on this side and you can see all the city from here. It's only like a 10, 12 minute drive from downtown, so it's not far at all, but it just feels so much quieter. We've still got loads to buy. Obviously we bought our dining table and uh, the bench the other day, which was freaking massive. This one, <laughs> I had to carry a solid wood dining table, absolutely ginormous. 
was sitting in our house because um, we have to store it until we move so that was uh, not ideal but anyway we got our first bits of furniture and now we've just got to buy everything else hello good morning i uh, haven't vlogged in a few days it's just been a bloody crazy week and i've just been trying to sort out my laptop because on sunday i spilled a whole glass of water all over my macbook pro and um i got the report back yesterday and it's basically completely done in so hopefully i can edit this vlog on my 11 year old <laughs> macbook air it's probably going to take me about a week to do it um but yeah i'm just trying to get all that sorted so anyway Today we are heading to some more furniture shops and today is hopefully going to be a big day because we have lots of stuff that we want to buy. We now have our dining room table that we got on Monday, biggest and heaviest freaking dining room table ever. It's not actually that big in terms of like size but it's so heavy because it's solid wood and it's just like a one big wooden slab. It's really really nice but it's ginormous so I'll show you where we've uh, managed to hide it in the house. Okay, so the bench is very sneakily, not sneakily, hidden behind the table here, underneath the window. So that actually fit there quite nicely, so you kind of can't really see it. Um, excuse our washing. And then we've got some stuff that we started to pack here, and then this table is hidden behind the curtain in the bedroom. So it is huge, and I cannot lift it, it's so heavy. So just kind of, we'll just kind of pull that round and then you can't really see that. So yeah, it wasn't ideal, and in an ideal world, we'd have just got it delivered, but I can't remember whether I mentioned this one here or it was just on Instagram stories, but basically, it's just really frustrating at the minute with a lot of furniture shops because so much stuff is on back order. So if we wanted to order this table off the website, we'd have had to wait until like April, and so if we wanted it for when we move in, our only choice was picking it up this week. So you know it is what it is um but hopefully we're gonna get some stuff today we still need to get a sofa a bed frame uh we need some rugs we need a coffee table we need dining room chairs we need a tv we need a tv table so there's quite a lot of big stuff that we need to buy and so we're like we just need to get it all ordered and sorted because we're moving in two weeks and three days which is very exciting so we're just trying to kind of coordinate all the timing and everything which is really hard like it's much easier if you have a few months notice and you can get stuff on back order um but we don't have that so anyway we're just trying to do the best that we can so yeah we're gonna head over to richmond today go to a couple of shops there and then we're gonna go to coquitlam because there's loads of furniture shops on united boulevard a couple of outlets there and fingers crossed do we get some nice stuff What do you think? I like it. They're really nice. Do they all come separately? Yeah. Proper cool. The glasses as well, it's really nice. I love this like lighter, more beachy, rustic kind of wood. Super nice. And then this mirror is amazing too. How much is this one? Well, six five. And then we've got Ryan, baby goose here, nice and topless. <laughs> So this one is super nice. It's really, really deep and comfortable. Uh, on sale for 2,800, which isn't bad as it's so big and comfy. So yeah, we are tempted. They have a lot of really nice sofas. Not many are in stock, but they're all really nice and comfy and nicely made. Okay, so our, our uh, first up uh, was Q Living Furniture in Richmond and it was actually quite successful. They had a really, really nice sofa. They had some nice chairs. They had some nice accessories and um, their service was actually amazing. So we were really impressed and they answered all my questions over social media and they are a contender. So we found a really nice sofa there. It's a contender and they would hold it for us until we need to move in, which is a big selling point because a lot of places won't do that. We're now out in Coquitlam and we're heading to the Urban Barn outlet. I love Urban barn so we'll see what they've got uh where are we going here oh no mm, came around in circles babe <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we'll see uh we'll see how the next few shops go just got ourselves popeye's chicken Starbucks, uh? popeye's chicken do you want popeye's chicken yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> There's actually so many stores here. So we're in Port Coquitlam now and then we're gonna go to Unite, United Boulevard after. And there's loads of furniture shops there. We should have come here sooner, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you wanna get there? No, I'm taking up actually. Okay. That's really nice, huh? But I'm the to put your shoes in. Yeah. So a lot of these things that they have, they're just floor models from the stores or they're like slightly defected. But so much of the stuff is still in store at the minute, so it's really nice. <laughs> the sun's very, very comfy. It's really quite nice. It's got like this little bit at the end. Not a bad price. Very comfy. A lot of sofas don't pass the comfort test. That's actually really, really nice. How much is it? Twenty-six fifty. It's not a bad price. Might be a little bit too big though, but it's nice. A dog, I want my lazy boy. Matt wants his lazy boy, apparently. Oh, sofa shopping is bloody hard. We just found a really nice one in Moe's. Their stuff is gorgeous, they had some amazing beds, but it's on back order till May. So, yeah, I didn't even realize it would be so difficult. Like, the key problem at the minute is that a lot of things are on back order because of COVID. I think maybe in general, like, sofas that you have to order them. A lot of them are custom made, a lot of them take a while to come in. I think it maybe is COVID as well, that there's limited stock. But in most places we go into, like there's only a small selection of stuff that's available immediately. So we're kind of limited, really. So we're at Uni United Boulevard at the minute in Coquitlam and there's tons of different furniture shops here. So we'll see, we bought some, uh, bought some pans just to make ourselves feel better and feel like this has been more of a productive day. At least I got some pants. So nice. This bench is amazing. And that lamp. Beautiful. Can have a tuk tuk in the living room. <laughs> That's so nice. Proper heavy, but really nice. You Wanna could have it? that. Huh? Wanna get it? Maybe. It's really cool. Such a good price as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with this shop. Look at all the wood. How big does your house need to be to have a table this big? And all the furnishings are really nice as well. Like the blankets and all the cushions and stuff. This is nice. Super nice. Yeah, I saw that one. It's really cozy. So we're in a shop called Muse and Merchant, uh, which is on United Boulevard in Coquitlam as well. It's amazing, oh my God. They have the most beautiful wood pieces. Just like a whole range, some really nice sofas. And they're not actually crazy priced. So yeah, it's really stunning. We're finding it difficult to find a bed and a sofa and everything else basically. Um, but yeah, they have some beautiful stuff here. I would recommend it. This is literally my dream bed. It makes a bed look tiny, doesn't it? You need to have like a super king or something. God, it's so nice. All of their wood pieces. Look at that as well. So nice. I'll just get you. Can make that. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll get you one. Get, from get a load of branches. Stick them all together. <laughs> Yay! We have a coffee table. We went for the. Uh, yeah, it's made in Indonesia. It's so nice. We went for the beautiful wood one. And this, oh, it's just gonna look so nice. Yay! Yeah, but now we've got a coffee table. Oh. We've got a coffee table. That was super nice. So the shop we were in was Muse and Merchant. And, oh no, I'm stuck. Um, oh God, that stuff is so nice. They have like the most incredible tables and just like everything, so many really nice wood pieces. So yeah, that table was actually really, really well priced for what it is. And it's completely unique, made in uh, Indonesia. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So, where are we going now? Where are we going now, mate? You tell me, mate. Uh, I'm gonna need some food sometime soon. What kind of food do you want? We have mini eggs. No. So we're at Ikea again. This is not an entrance. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why is this place such a maze? How do you get in the bloody store? Oh no, let's ask this lady. <laughs> oh no, you go around her. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I 
think we've made some progress on a couch. Oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh look, I am. Um match the house don't I with my nice blue jumper um so that was a, a very successful day of shopping yesterday we bought some kitchen stuff bought that beautiful coffee table from user merchant it's just like down here in the corner sat waiting but I cannot wait to have that in the living room because right now we have a really big coffee table and it's one of those like lift up ones this is in our apartments um all the furniture is like it comes with the apartment um and so we won't be able to eat on this one but we are gonna have a big dining table and bench and so we'll eat at the dining table which we don't do now because i use the dining table as my work table and then we'll just have the coffee table just as like just next to the sofa just for tea and coffee and snacks basically so yeah i think that table will look super cool and we actually found one in home sense that was 200 and 200 250 dollars and so it's actually no more than we wanted to spend but it's just so cool like i love muse immersion i want to get so many more of their wood pieces it's so cool like their stuff is so unique um and really pretty well priced considering like the quality and what it's like so yeah it was a good day so we still have a ton of stuff to buy we made a big long list and like it's just endless like it's just so much stuff because literally now we don't we don't have anything we don't even have spoons and cutlery and anything so we've got a lot to buy but anyway i am going to wrap this vlog up here and i will be of course vlogging everything as we move and i still need to kind of work out what kind of moving vlogs i'm going to do and um, so if there's anything specific that you want to see then let me know in the comments and um, i'll probably like split the moving vlogs up and just keep them short and sweet um i've been like editing bits of this vlog and um it's been taking me years on my very old laptop so hopefully my new laptop comes in time before we move and before I do lots of vlogs for that because otherwise I probably will just give up because <laughs> it's been taking me forever to edit this anyway yeah please do subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and you want to come along for the move and uh, for this next chapter and um, I'll leave some links in the description box to the stores that we visited some links and some names in case you want to go and check any of them out and um yeah i guess i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye